Hey YouTube, how you going? This is Billy Eat World and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're taking a look at some Minecraft TNT cannons, which is something that I really like to build in Minecraft. I don't play Minecraft a lot and when I do I play creative mainly and I uh, sort of try and come up with these things. And as you can see, there's all sorts of different designs here. Now, if you haven't already worked out from the title of this video, basically we're talking about cannons that shoot TNT and it's something that's really quite easy to do in Minecraft but you have to bear a few things in mind um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and uh, I'm gonna show you quickly what you need to do to actually put together a TNT cannon that isn't gonna blow up um, that's the most important thing we're gonna try and build one of these things right here okay so the most important thing what's actually gonna fire your TNT is obviously more TNT. So um, basically, uh, one of the unique principles of the dispenser is that when you put the dispenser down and you load it up, uh, if you actually put TNT inside that dispenser and then activate that dispenser, it actually will arm the TNT as it comes out. And the cool thing about TNT is that it'll actually move if it's pushed by an explosion or something else or whatever. So the cool thing is, is that you can explode one lot of TNT and that will explode, well, it'll push the other TNT off, which will explode somewhere down there. Um, so basically we've got these three little dispensers here and uh, we're just gonna try and bring these with a bit of something. It doesn't have to be anything important. Um, obviously if you want to try and use something like obsidian that would be much better because it's not going to explode but at the end of the day if you, if you have an explosion and you don't want it to happen um, you're probably going to be rebuilding nearly everything so I, I used to build TNT cannons with obsidian but I stopped because it's sort of not worth it at the end of the day if something blows up it's all going to blow up so okay so we've got this these three little dispensers here and we're going to put these four whatever blocks so I've used oak wood I'm gonna put a little half slab there um, and this is the most important part here we're gonna get a water bucket I'm gonna hold the shift key and fill up that little space there if we don't do that everything's gonna end in disaster it's not cool okay so this at the moment is what's gonna actually shoot uh, off the main sort of round which we're gonna set up here in just a tick but uh, before we do that, we have got to link all of these together. So three little bits of redstone on top of those blocks there. And now when we chuck a button, as you can see, we can arm all three uh, dispensers at the same time. So if we put a little bit of TNT in each one, whoop, do this, and this. Now obviously you can load the whole thing up. I'm not going to do that now because it's going to take too much time. And uh, so now they're loaded up, um, they're going to shoot this TNT. Uh, well, they're not going to shoot it. It's all going to sit in that little pool of water there. And fortunately, the, one of the unique characteristics about TNT in water is that although it'll still push things, it actually won't break anything, which is cool. So check this out. As you can see, Bam! And as you can see, it actually pushes me back, but it doesn't actually destroy anything, you know? So it's pretty cool. You could even, like, put glass on top of here and you'd have no, no worries at all, okay? So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put another dispenser here, and this is actually going to shoot the TNT. Um, now, the most important thing here is we need to sort of block it in to make sure that we're not going to, you know put it somewhere we don't want it we want it to sit right here and if it doesn't sit there it's gonna you know blow the whole thing up so we'll get our stone slab like that there maybe another oak wood box there now I'm not gonna put a stone slab here I used to try and you know want to like wall it all in but the problem is is that sometimes the TNT is pretty random and it can actually come up and bounce off things I honestly think that you're better off trying to keep this area on top of your actual barrel, so to speak, free. Because if you do fill it up, you're probably going to blow something up. So let's whack this TNT in that little dispenser. 
another button on the side of there and now it should be good now the most important thing uh, is that you need to fire this one first if you don't fire that one first this one's going to blow up before that one and that's not falling into the water so that will blow the whole thing up so we're going to go one two and bam pretty cool now as you can see that's not not that far I mean it's far enough that's only one block of TNT so there's a lot you can do to that so this one over here as you can see pretty much exactly the same I've put that stone slab in a different spot but apart from that it's exactly the same um, yeah cool so I'm just gonna walk through some of the designs I've got here uh, now um, there's a lot you can do to it so what I've got here is is a fully automated one and um, as you can see, we've got five dispensers in there. I find that five dispensers is a nice sort of amount of dispensers to actually get a really, really powerful shot. Um, if it's too powerful, you're actually not going to see it explode. And uh, that's what we're going to find with these ones over here. But uh, yeah, I find five is a nice little value if you actually want to sort of take stuff out. And it's, it's not too many resources to get yourself five dispensers either and as you can see here we've got a lot of redstone repeaters and this is what this is going to do is this is going to we're going to put a uh, redstone torch right here which is going to fire these dispensers and then this is going to go all the way out here and fire this dispenser like you know after a certain amount of time so what that's going to mean is we don't actually have to hit them you know in time and it also means that we can automate it because uh, we have this other sort of little redstone circuit coming around here with, um, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven repeaters there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one more. So what that means is it's just going to fire this one, and then it's going to come around and loop in on itself and fire it again. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyway, we're going to whack this little thing here, this little redstone torch, and see how it works. Oh put that in the wrong spot but it'll still go but it won't keep going okay as you can see it's very easy to make a mistake with these things and quite often when you do the whole thing's gone so that was that was pretty good all right ready and that'll just keep going So that's a really basic repeating TNT cannon. There's a lot of more complicated ones out there, but that's that's a pretty easy one to build. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this one. This one is like uh, actually sort of getting, you know, really to the extremes almost of what you can do uh, with your imagination building these things. This is actually a double barreled one. And uh, you can see there's two dispensers here that's gonna put down two blocks of TNT in these two spots here. And in there, we've got a whole heap of dispensers. So there's gonna be a massive charge. And this is a really, really powerful thing. Um, you're not even gonna see that uh, basically explode. It's gonna go so far out that way, it's actually gonna um, go out of our sight. Um, just before we buy that one, we might just have a bit of a rest here. Oh, look at that sun go down. Lots of animals in the distance, which we could possibly blow up with some of these cannons. Okay, so let's let this thing off. Pretty sort of terrible platform I've got going here. You sort of have to hover to fire it, but that's all right. As you can see, it's just ridiculously powerful. And... Uh, to be honest, it really serves no purpose to be that powerful except to be really cool when you shoot it. But unfortunately, it's pretty hard to blow stuff up with it because it just goes that far. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Okay, cool. So uh, before we take a look at this one, we're going to have a look at another one very similar to this. This is a single barreled version and um, this is even more powerful. This actually puts, uh, I think it's what, 15 dispensers into basically five slots there. So there's three blocks of TNT for every slot in front of those dispensers. Uh, once again, we've still got two, uh, you know, bullets, I guess, uh, TNT charges that are going to get launched off. 
Um, but this time they're actually going to all end up on that one little half slab there. So let's have a look at this one. Oh, I've got this one triggered with a uh, pressure plate, which you can do. That's, you know, I don't know if you want to do that as like a trap for one of your buddies or whatever. Not a very nice trap, but you know. So we're going to walk up here and just step on this pressure plate and... Bam! <laughs> you didn't even see that fly off. See what I mean? It's sort of like you get to a point where you know you've fulfilled something and you, you know that you've uh, built something awesome, but <laughs> you can't actually see it do anything because it's that good. Okay, so this one here is a little bit different. This is sort of using the same concept, but actually um, making it vertical. Um, and yeah, basically, we're, get, we're not actually going to shoot TNT with this one. We're going to shoot ourselves. So we're going to sit in this thing, and basically what we've got here is we have, I think there's eight dispensers in there. If I can get off there. Eight dispensers, a whole bunch of uh, redstone repeaters to make sure that the redstone is going to the right spot. We've got a little button up here, floating in me there. It's going to actually launch that thing. And uh, that's also linked up to this uh, piston here, which is going to push us into this little hole. And we should end up somewhere in those clouds once it's all good okay ready <laughs> that's pretty cool okay <laughs> once again just a lot of fun not really any reason why you'd probably want to use that can't imagine you'd survive very long if you did that in survival but uh you know, it's, it's good fun. We're actually in the clouds. I have actually built them in the past uh, that would launch you, you know, further than that. But uh, you sort of, it sort of gets really complicated, you know, chaining the redstone once you stack it higher and higher and higher. You know, it's even sort of getting comp more complicated here. Just those four blocks underneath are really, really easy. But as soon as you start adding layers, it becomes a lot more difficult. So anyway, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you understand now a little bit more about how TNT works and, uh, you know, what you can do with it. And just, you know, if you're trying to build this sort of stuff yourself, I hope that you don't end up with a situation like this over here. I was trying to build like a, I don't know, a battery of like anti-aircraft TNT launchers that shot, you know, 20 or so TNT uh, blocks up in the air at the same time but um yeah so as you could see it didn't really end well but you know that's this is this is the the moral of this video is to always be careful and not to do stupid stuff with tnt unless of course you want to do stupid stuff with tnt because this is minecraft and you can do whatever you like so uh yeah anyway thanks heaps for watching uh if you like what you see please hit that subscribe button and uh i'll be back in the next few days with um some different videos we've we've got um battlefield 4 coming out in the next few days so if you're a battlefield 4 player please subscribe and uh take a look at some of the videos i'll be posting in the next couple of days have a good one